My name's Chad Hiltz. I'm known as Bad Chad throughout the world, and I built some badass cars that no one's ever seen before. That's what I do, and that's what I live for. Not being happy with where my life is going, I decided to change it, and I took it and put it in my own hands, and uh, I put my work clothes on because I knew the dream I had had work clothes on and I went to work and built some cars that no one's ever seen before. Uh, and that's why they call me Bad Chad. Um, when you're trying to, when you're trying to tell somebody that you can do something and to make them believe you that you can, and when you know you can, but yet the work is not there, that's when it's hard. Um, I put my heart and soul in it, and uh, I think it shows in everything that I do. And it's hard to be, you know, let down by not being able to convince somebody, you know. That's what I, I live, you know, I'm living my life for right now, is I'm feeding off of, you can't do that, yes I can. All the don'ts and can'ts are motivation. I take them and turn them into, yes I can, yes I can. And I've proven it so many times. And like I always say, the proof is in the pudding. And we have tasty pudding. Um, there's no funny mistakes. That's when you learn. And I try to learn from every mistake. Um, you just turn it upside down and just say, yes, I can, and continue on. But uh, there's nothing funny about mistakes. They're, they're very serious, and I take them serious. So, no funny mistakes, but I take it as a learning process. And you have to respect it, because if you don't, you do not learn. <laughs> I've thought of that a couple times. And I don't think that if I changed any part of my life, that I would not know what I know now. And I'm very happy with what I've taken from everything. I'm not happy with all my mistakes, but I am happy that I remember and then I can move forward and try to recall and replay and fix every day. I, I respect the past and look forward to the future. I say that quite a bit. It's just something that you, you learn, I guess. And if I've never had all the mistakes, I wouldn't learn all the things that I know. And as the things I know, I continue to try to get better every day. And I think that is the game of life, is it not? To get better at your craft every day, even if it is on who you are and who you want to be. Yes, we can. Simple as that, yes, we can. We're building cars like no one's ever seen before. And I, you know, and all us people that say nay, and I say yay, yes, we can. You know, that's what it's all about. Um, yeah. No news, keep building. Good news, keep building. Bad news, keep building. That's basically about it, you know. Um, our dreams uh, all have work clothes on. I know this, and it will be that way until the day I drop. I think that honesty, integrity, and respect will get a good start for you. If you can hold on to it, you will continue to thrive because you'll be satisfied in what you are doing. If you are into it for some other different reason, um, time will tell if it lasts or not, won't it? You know, I just if you, you honestly have to ask yourself, are you willing to put in the work before you do it? Are you willing to put in the work? If you want a great big shop and a bunch of tools and just have a big shop sign outside and are not willing to do the work, I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. If you have the will, the want, the
the heart, the passion, and an integrity that you think that your business should have, you'll be in business till the end of time. I'm grateful for meeting Jolene McIntyre. Um, she soon, I was quick to answer that because she is the person, uh, without a doubt. Um, she's inspired me through what you see. You know, we got a TV show now. We're building a beautiful Bugatti. Um, we give daily content every day. We are not negative. We want to help people in any way. What else can you say? Helps Auto Co. to the end. Well, the only thing I can do is to make is make myself happy. That's the only way that I can make anybody else happy is I make myself happy first. And as I am happy and I show it every day on the camera, every day I show that I'm happy. That's all I can give. <laughs> That's all I can give is my happiness. If I'm happy, I'm hoping that you are happy. Um, I do not give off uh, bad vibes. I want good vibes on everything. I want to look at the good on no matter what you're doing. And I can do that with a rusty car. So I can do that with rusty car. Uh, I'm sure I can make myself happy. Everybody has a different set of goals and a, a different thing in mind and a different way to be treated and handled. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned. Everybody has a different way of being handled. And what I mean by handled is being asked to do something or showing them to do something or trying to teach them something. Everybody is different. Never thought of that, learned that. I never realized how much, how much um, it takes to motivate somebody and try to get them on your path. Never realized that. I did not know that. That I would have to be able to do that. I didn't realize that I would be bombarded with questions full time. I did not realize that. There are more, there's more one, one way to skin a cat um, from his head over on his toes. And you have to, I have to realize that, you know, I have to let them try that way or their way. Um, I didn't realize um, being a, a, a boss and a father at the same time would be so hard. <laughs> I didn't, did not know that. Uh, I did not know that everybody does not have the same... Um, as rules that I have in my brain. I didn't realize that everybody, everybody's a little different. Um, not everybody thinks the same. You know, what motivates a person during the day? I have no, sometimes I have no idea. Like, didn't know all that stuff that I had to do uh, with employees. Um, I've had, you know, single employees, but to have more than one, uh, it, was, it was quite a, quite a chore. It was quite something else, actually. Uh, that's the way it is, though. And that's the way it is everywhere in the world. You have to learn to get along and, uh, and motivate at the same time. It was a lot more work. It definitely was. I didn't know how to discipline somebody. Did not know that, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm trying to be more diplomatic. Uh, I would probably, nowadays, now, I would probably write it down on the computer and send it to them as a message so they could read it. <laughs> Sometimes when you talk to people, um, it does not, they do not listen. They listen to answer maybe, or whatever, but I find that if I have a problem with anything, I will write it down on the computer and send it to them as a private message on their own time. They can read it 
and they can send a message back if they want to, but we will know what the problem is because it'll be wrote right down. There's no mistake in it. I had a lot of problems last year with, no, you didn't say that. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. But anyways, as I'm learning, I think I would like to write it down so it can help me dip, be diplomatic. And that means that I don't have to get all upset. All I don't have to do is go in the office, talk to Jolene, or send a private message to the person on their spare, on their dinner hour, or whatever, on their own time. No one even know that nothing was said, but we will have it in writing so we know what is the truth. Um, and yeah, I might change next year where I am not going to ask them what their goals are. I am going to give them goals. <laughs> I'm not going to give them that choice to say, oh, I might get this done, I might get this. No, I'm going to say, I would like to see you get this done, this done, this done, this done, this done. And give them something to work for. Yeah, that's, I, it's kind of not, I was kind of in the middle. I really didn't really want to be the boss, but yet I need to be the boss. I'm learning that. I need to be the boss for me to just let them try to say what they're going to do. That's not the way it should roll. I should be telling them every day and give them goals to fill and get that done. That should be something I should be doing. And I probably will change that, but I will set the goals for them. And when they meet it, then I can congratulate them. Well done. Right? Uh, if I don't set goals for them, I can't tell them well done. And that's what I want to try to do. Change up things a little bit and, uh, and become more of a coach. Father figure <laughs> and a person to look up to. And, then, and, and the only way I'm going to do that is to inspire them and congratulate them by meeting their goals that I'm going to give them. The main thing is to keep my spirits up so their spirits are up. Um, I think that people feed off of what yeah, people feed off the boss uh, when you're working somewhere in this tighter quarters. This is a little different situation than most when you're working on a piece of art that everybody gets to see. And there's many different people that are working on it, and uh, sometimes that's hard. The movement, I would, I would say, is... Um, let's go back, let's go back a little bit and just, when you make a decision, base it off of, would I like that? So it's do unto others that you would have done unto you. Mm -hmm. and it's a simple thing and I've taught it to my kids since the day they were young. If you want me to kick, if you want to kick in the shins, kick me, I'll kick you back, you know. Do unto others that you would like done unto you. Gonna make a decision. Base it off of what you would like done to you. Um, and that's basically it. Just take that second, click that gear, and ask yourself, would you like that? You know, there, there's two hearts. There's good and the bad. Which one would you like to feed? <laughs> I want to feed the good one. Yes, most certainly. And uh, let's face it, everybody has a good heart and a bad heart. Just depends on which one you want to feed back the past and look to the future you know decisions obviously decisions decisions tell you whether you get a good life or a bad life bad decisions make bad life and good decisions make good life what decisions do you want to make which heart would you like to feed good or bad you have to ask yourself what kind of person do you want to be known for what point in your life are you supposed to ask yourself who do you want to be? You must ask yourself someday. Well, what when I go down? What is everybody going to remember me for? Uh, I would say probably the YouTube would be the best. Um, YouTube would be the best, and, and that's what we do. We just kind of build cares. Uh, me and Jolene live, love, and laugh together. And that's what we do.